Thank you for choosing to learn about the philosophy of the Middle East. Philosophy in the Middle East and Islam helped order and stability to be kept in Islamic nations, more so than caused conflict. But I'm not talking about philosophy like Socrates and Plato type of philosophy. I'm talking about the people's morals and their values, their beliefs, all that. Stability and order were kept in many ways. Social mobility was a good change in society. People liked it because they could move up and down the social ladder, which was great. You could move up by performing feats of intellect or religious religion. Feats. All the old religions did not believe in social mobility, but the Muslims did. Muslims also enjoyed certain types of arts together as well. They enjoyed calligraphy and arabesque, which were passed down from their Bedouin ancestors. Another tradition correlated with the religion Islam was poetry, oral poetry in fact. Since the Bedouins, Muslims have been doing oral poetry, a form of poetry spoken, not written. Islam's strong thirst for knowledge is another remarkable thing about the religion and culture. The intellectual students studied math, astronomy, and medicine, and the best went to the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. The House of Wisdom in Baghdad was remarkable. They came up with the theory of germs. They sanctioned people in hospitals so they wouldn't spread disease. They started studying eyeglasses and eyes, and they were able to remove cataracts from your eyes. Everything that the Muslims did united them and kept stability and order. But there were some things that eh, caused some conflict. Some of the cities did not let Christians live there because it was all Muslim or vice versa. Christians did not let Muslims live there. This caused little bits of conflict, but all this small conflict cannot amount to the great things the philosophy Muslims brought. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.